What's up, animators? Welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful mimer tips within 5 minutes. Today we're doing transitions, one of the most requested topics ever. Now bear with me, this is an On The Go episode, which means it's gotta be done under 5 minutes. I'm gonna go through this quickly, pause the video if you need to, now let's begin. Transitions, <laughs> where are they? When you click a keyframe, down in the keyframe drop down, there's this option here, it says transition, which gives you all this stuff. <coughs> First one's called linear, it looks like this, which means the object will move constantly at the same rate, and that's what most people use as default. Although that's not a good thing. From there, if you got a few extra ones, ease out, which looks like this, ease in, which looks like this, and ease in and out, which looks like this. They all have different functions, and I'll explain them all right now. If we focus on ease out first, this right here is a graph. The horizontal axis represents the time passed, and the vertical axis represents the amount of motion applied. This one goes up really quickly and then slows down, which means a lot of motion is gonna be applied quickly and then slowed down. That's what you can see right here. If we focus on ease in, it's quite the opposite. So as time is passing, not much motion is being applied, and then it gradually speeds back up to the same point. So it starts slowly and then speeds up. And finally, ease in and out, which looks like this, is gonna start slowly, then speed up, and then slow back down again. If we play this, that's exactly what happens. So the only difference is ease out starts fast and slows down, ease in starts slowly and speeds up, and ease in and out starts slowly, speeds up, and slows down again. Then there's an instant transition, which looks like this, and this one just waits and snaps to the final point. It's instant. All these transitions you see right here, those are the only transitions that exist. Linear, ease out, ease in, ease in and out, and instant. And from there, ease out, ease in, and ease in and out have a bunch of variants, which you can see right here. Quadratic, cubic, quart, quint, exponential, sine, and circular. The difference in all of them is the strength. Quadratic is not that steep. Cubic is more steep. Quart is even more steep. Quint is even more steep. Exponential is even more steep. And then sine and circular are different because sine is actually less steep than quadratic. So this is the closest to linear you can get while still having an ease. And circular starts very intense but then slows down really quickly. And I think using circular transitions would be the easiest method to create a full circle. This is just the difference in strengths. That's all it is. Finally, my name has got a few special ones at the end. You've got elastic, back back and bounce. Elastic is gonna shoot out and be all elastic. Back is gonna overshoot and come back, like this. Bounce is gonna bounce at the end. And that's pretty much it. I almost never use any of these, except maybe the back one, because it is helpful. But when it does come back, the motion is not eased, so you gotta ease it again, and it's rocket science. Each of these transitions can be applied to any of the body parts, or the characters, or items, or anything, and using just one is never good. You always should be using the transition which you need at the specific point in time. If you feel like something needs to speed up, you use ease in. If you feel like something needs to slow down, you use ease out. If you need both, you use both. And if something is in the middle of the action, you should not ease it at all, you should use linear. So all of them are useful and different strengths give you different results. This is not something I can teach you in five minutes, which is an on-the-go episode, so if you want me to go deeper into it, click the eye in the corner and I'll make a full video on it, full tutorial on transitions, even though I already have one which is pretty old. Don't watch that, that that's a bad one. Anyway, thank you for watching, hope you guys learned a thing or two, hope I was helpful. If I was, smash like. Now thanks for watching, see you next time and stay sharp.